like a bell cut. Snapback Jack, and today what I'm going to be doing is reading some Instagram posts, Twitter posts, and you, you, who, you, who, you, who, uh, Yahoo answers and questions. Um, so when I do this, uh, you won't be seeing my face because I can't seem to put my footage of me recording. Um, as well as pictures, I can't seem to figure it out. I'm working on it, I'm working on it, alright? One thing, it's baby steps. Baby steps, alright? So yeah, here we go, okay? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw them up on the screen, and then you'll just hear me talking over it. And that'll be it, that'll be the video. So I'm gonna address what I think of the pictures, just like any other video, when people just go, that's a fucking stupid picture due to the blah blah blah. Anyway, I'll get into the video, okay? Right, I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye! First up, we have a picture. <laughs> okay, right, here we go. It <laughs> says, I know this is kind of late, but you are one of my favourite actors. Hashtag, still in shock. Hashtag, rest in peace. Hashtag, Paul Walker. Okay, all right, so... <laughs> That's not Paul Walker! That's fucking Neil Patrick Harris from fucking How I Met Your Mother. Come on, if you... Right, this is the thing, right? If he's your favourite actor, then you should know what Paul Walker looks like, and that is not Paul Walker! That is fucking Neil Patrick Harris! Fuck me! <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, that, that's really got me, that has. <laughs> okay, so, the next one. <laughs> right, okay. This, this one is just fucking stupid. It's kind of retarded, to be fair. It's a picture of a girl, and she's clearly been stabbed in the leg. Right? And then this is what she said about it. Talk about a rough Monday, lol. Hashtag stabbed. Hashtag can't feel my leg. Hashtag worst luck ever. Right, here's, here's the problem with this, right? First of all, it's got 57 <laughs> likes. And she's put hashtag I can't feel my leg. So why is she, why is she not, why is she standing up? For one thing, she can't feel her leg. How is she able to stand up? And second of all, why is she not in the fucking hospital? What the fuck? Oh, you know what? Fuck it, I'm not gonna go to the hospital. I'm just gonna quickly post it on Instagram. What the fuck is wrong with some of these people? Like, come on now. Okay, so the next one. <laughs> Why do crocodiles walk so gaily? Right, well, first of all, I don't actually think they have a certain way of walking. They just fucking do it, you know? They're, they're, they're not sentient enough to know how to walk properly. They just walk quick as they fucking walk. And then it says... <laughs> this is a painting category. This is an answer. This is a painting category. We know nothing about gay crocodiles. <laughs> so, what makes it funny is that this guy has obviously seen a documentary about crocodiles and thinks, he walks gaily. How can you determine how a crocodile walks? How is that a gay way of walking? It's a fucking crocodile. They don't know, do they? They don't know what gay is and they don't know what gay. And then they, and then what adds it, this is what makes it even weirder and funnier, is he's, he's put it in the wrong, in the wrong category for fucking talking about, he's, <laughs> it's just so fucking stupid. Okay, so the next one. <laughs> I accidentally <laughs> I accidentally went to the supermarket naked. How can I overcome this? Well, okay. Don't go to the supermarket naked. When you wake up in the morning, put some fucking clothes on. There you go. That's how to overcome the problem. Fuck, it's kind of a given, really, isn't it? It's like when the mailman comes and you got a sign for a parcel, you don't just go to the door with your all cock and brown hanging out. Just, <laughs> it's just, just fucking ridiculous. It's so obvious that you just put on fucking clothes. You don't just think, you know what? 
going to go to the supermarket. Oh no, I forgot to put on some fucking clothes. <laughs> How do you forget? This is what I mean. How do you forget to put on clothes? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, the next one. My eight-year-old daughter came home drunk. What do I do? Well, if it was my kid, I'd fucking beat her, to be fair. That's fucking messed up. Update. She told me she was out getting fucked and that she doesn't give a fuck what I have to say about it. Yeah, she's eight years old. She should give a fuck. She shouldn't know that earlier on in her life to get drunk. Like, what the fuck is going... You need to sort your fucking kid out. If my if I had a kid and she went out eight years... First of all, I wouldn't let my eight-year-old fucking daughter go outside. I'd forbid it. I'd be like, no, you're staying indoors, do your fucking homework, eat your shit and go to bed. I wouldn't say go out and get pissed. The fact that she doesn't listen to you either... Yeah, you've got to be hard on this kid, honestly, because that's, that's fucking... I know you're not meant to hit your children, but I'm not being funny. I think that mm, is probably what she needs, because uh, that's that's wrong on every level there. That's not normal. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so this one's pretty fucked up as well. I'm 14 and my boyfriend's 45. Is this bad? Well... It's kind of a given, because you're 14 and you're not at the age of a fucking adult, and you're dating someone who's old enough to know that he shouldn't be having sex, or dating someone who's fucking 14. So, oh, oh, update, he's also my aquatics teacher. So he's a teacher. So he should be fucking sacked. He shouldn't even be fucking going out with you. He should be fucking... Someone should notify the fucking school board and get him fucking fired and locked up and fucking put in prison. Because there's people like that that actually make me physically fucking sick. That's fucking messed up. You shouldn't be dating someone who is under the age of, first of all, not even an adult, and she's not even the, at the age to legally have sex. You are fucked up in the head, my friend. Fucked up, honestly. My mum sucks. Should I beat myself up and report her for child abuse? That's another thing. Why? What has she done? You haven't even explained. First of all, is she abusing you? We don't know. You're just saying that she's fucking... And then, look, best answer. This made me laugh. I'm sorry. Look, okay, I understand there's dark humour, but then posting it all over the fucking internet, saying like, oh, my mum sucks. How old are you? You're probably like six. What the fuck are you doing on the internet anyway? Like, what the fuck is going on with this generation? They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. See, now, now I'm getting pissed off because these posts are not fucking ridiculous anymore. They're getting to the point where they fucking piss me off to my core. Can I put a £15 bowling ball up my butt? <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. <coughs> My life is meaningless, and I've decided to make up my own talent. Talent? How is that a talent? Sticking a 15 pound bowling ball up your asshole? How is that a fucking talent? <laughs> right, okay, Ca carry on, I guess. Maybe I could be in the world record book or something, but I think I found my calling. What the fuck? I want to fit a 15 pound bowling ball. Why exactly 15 pounds as well? Why is he being really specific about this? In my butt, maybe, maybe, maybe using some lube. Oh, so that's the key word. May, you know, I might go in dry and see if it fit. You must be fucking wider than a fucking nun's cunt. Honestly, that doesn't make any sense. But what the fuck? Is it possible? I don't know, maybe I'll find you in the Guinness Book of World Records at some point, I don't fucking know. What the fuck? This generation is just not normal. Is it normal? <laughs> is it normal to want to masturbate in public? Right, okay. I've had a fantasy for quite some time about doing this sort of thing. I'm wondering if anyone else can relate to that. Sometimes I have quite an urge to do, do it for the thrill or being of being caught or always being caught. Today I finally did it and I, it was very satisfying. I'm a massive... 
I am a massive, and I mean massive, Britney Spears fan. I was looking through her pictures, and she just brought out that urge. Right, right, okay. I go, oh my god, this is getting intense. I grabbed some Britney, Britney pics and my iPod. Went over to, to the park and got right to it. I said, oh my god. Oh. I said, I said up the pics. You mean set up. I set up the pics in plain view. Cranked up a Britney song on my iPod so you could hear loud. Got stark nude and started masturbating. I called Britney's name a few times and I came. I know. God, what the fuck is this? I noticed the orgasm felt very intense, but afterward the mood, mood left and I <laughs> I now realized what I had done. So I grabbed up the Brit stuff and left leave fast, left fast. Now I'm starting to think back to earlier this morning and how great it was. I took the day off school, so he's, he's a fucking minor, and he's, what the fuck? What do you think of it? I think you're fucking mentally challenged, is what I think. Britney Spears is one who really gets me because I adore everything about her looks, music, and so on. It might be too risky, I almost want to do it again. What are your thoughts and have you done it? Okay, first of all, no, I haven't done it and I never fucking will. And my thoughts are, you need to be locked up, my friend. You're in fucking school and you were, what the fuck? Oh my God. Ah, I can't believe this shit, honestly. All right, next one. I just want this over now. If you die in Canada, do you die in real life? <laughs> if you die in Canada, do you die in real life? Well, here's, here's the thing. <laughs> Canada's a part of the world. It's a part of the world. <laughs> and we live on this world. So if it's a part of the world, then yes, you die in real life. Because Canada's a fucking country! What the fuck?! If you die in Canada, do you die in real life? No! Of course you don't! You know what, mate? Try it. And then you find out when you... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm having some sort of fucking brain hemorrhage right now. That was a bit too much, but you know what I mean. How do I grow a third testicle? <laughs> These, these just getting beyond stupid now. I was, oh my god, really? It goes straight to the internet to find out. I was browsing the interwebs when I saw an article about a man with three testicles. I want that now. How do I grow a third testicle or a double dick? <laughs> oh, you know what? Next one, next one. Can I clean my ears with a vacuum cleaner? Why are green peppers so scary? Okay. Is it true that vaginas can grow teeth? <laughs> How do you tell your girlfriend to shut up? Shut up, ho. That's not very nice. Just say, you know, look. Babe, I've got a headache. Can you please be quiet? It's the only way I can think that is a nice way of saying it, and I, even then I wouldn't say that, so, you know. <clears throat> if all the birds in the world held onto a tree and fly up, will the world move? Just like the guy at the bottom says, no, because that's fucking ridiculous. You'd have to get every single bird <laughs> in the world in one place <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> left a tree and it <laughs> I, 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 to be fair I do like the imagination of some of these people because they are they are just fucking brilliantly fucking stupid and the last one is mayonnaise a gender no it's a fucking condiment 
that you put with salad or a sandwich? And then the comment, the answer, no, Patrick, mayonnaise is not a gender. So he, he pretty much just summed it. I wonder how formal that was. No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not a gender. Because it's not. You've got to... Who thinks that a fucking condiment is a fucking gender? How the fuck does that work? Oh, yeah, I'd like uh, some mayonnaise in my sandwich. Well, you're going to eat a mayonnaise. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, you know, you don't eat a straight person. I mean, you can. You're just rimming. But you, you, you don't eat a mayonnaise. Yeah, but Patrick, it's not a gender. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching. I actually have a headache a little bit, I'm not going to lie. It's not an agenda. This is what I mean, you get some people on, on the, the fucking internet and they're just so fucking ridiculously retarded. You think, why? So if they can access the internet and they can access a website and go on this, are they being serious or are they just taking the piss? You don't know sometimes, but it's like... You get people, how, they access a category where they specifically talk about genders, they specifically talk about crocodiles, and then they put, look, mayonnaise, I'm pretty sure that's spelt correctly as well. So, if he can spell, how the fuck can he not realise that mayonnaise is not a fucking gender? Wow! Jesus, anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. <laughs> thank you very much for watching, please remember to like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next video. That was wrong. Bosh.